This is the way I want to be remembered Many years from now let them see and remember my name When my story is told let them say I did my best That is why every day I'm leaving my signature This is my signature So they will remember me This is my signature So they will remember me Since I came on board We did a retreat in town To see what are the problems of NIA So that you can have a strategic plan it does not make sense if you decide to leave your house in the morning without life. Am I correct? If you just take a shower and say, let me start going out. You don't know where to go. You may even pass where you want to and then come back again. Because you didn't plan for it. You may want more fuel, waste time. So we plan what we want to do. We did a plan 2016 to 2019. By 2019, we realized that in the general plan, we need to do border management strategy because border is a key issue of discuss. So when we came on board, we decided to do a lot of things. I'll give you an example. In training, so when you attend only training school come and you retire. But that's not the situation now. We develop a training curriculum, teachers manual, teachers guide. We put experts to work on it. After working on it, I invited 36 professors. Some of them are professors of curriculum. They sat down in this house, training school support, and developed a curriculum. We have a robust curriculum. Which Ghana Immigration Bureau, which Ghana Immigration Bureau, they took it. It's a big booklet with a Ghana teacher's guide, a lot. So we are developing the staff. We also did a lot in the training schools. You can see we did a lot of renovation in our training institution. I'm targeting another school in Tuga. Academy for migration. Unfortunately, some COVID and other issues slowed the process. But because we didn't give it for not around somebody will continue to make sure this actually institution works. In terms of manpower development, we are doing a lot. I'm glad to tell you all these offices you see. Any controller you see on the board, and a lot of them have retired, we have taken them to other training. They have done leadership training. They have done emotional intelligence, social intelligence. They are key to your survival, even after retirement. If you don't have emotional intelligence, you will never be successful even after a time. If you cannot control your emotion, if you don't have social intelligence, you will develop even after your time. Ability to lead with the people, ability to manage things, to have patience is key to leadership. So we are deliberately building leadership. I told them, I want the 17 control general to be better than 16 control general. I want my successor to be better than me. Because the service will benefit. It's not me. So we are building leadership deliberately to make sure that even when they retire, they do something with their life. We have offices who are expert in minus border technology management. If they retire, they'll be looking for them. It's good to have value. I know some officers, if they leave, they will pick them in some places. Because when I can't to develop that expertise, sometimes it is not good money that gives better life, but good ideas. We have also introduced IT-based training. We have personal training center. You don't need to go to school to get trained. It's here in Abuja. We have around five locations. If you like, you log in, you take a course. If you want to close, you close, you come back and continue. It's here. For personal training. That's how immigration should be. I don't want to tell you more about infrastructure. They said I'm the man of infrastructure. Because it hurts me. Almost all of you have sat in an office where immigration is staying in the period. Am I not correct? Yes. Or immigration staying with the prisons. Yeah. Or immigration staying in a rented office. Yeah. 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 To me, it's a key issue when I came on board. I told myself every year I will commission two new commands. 2017, Jigawa and Kano. 2018, Plateau, Abia. 2019, Apa Iwam. Zampara, Adamawa. Zampara was the worst command in Nigeria. Okay. One day I passed, went as a control general, and they showed me the office of immigration. I nearly cried. 
But today when you go, you smile. Already this year we have commissioned one, the one in Kuala. But before the end of the year, I will do that. You want to tax yourself and you have good team. It makes a lot of sense. We are doing also a lot of forward operational basis, you are aware. We have done so far 14 forward operational basis. What does it mean? It means a location established along the border plants with 30 officers and a patrol commander. They have room with a mattress and fellow. The patrol commander has a room and a reception where he can sit. This thing. They have dining area. There is armory. There is place to keep suspect. There are patrol vehicles, and that place is connected real time by radio with headquarters. It has air conditioning because we use solar. Is there any one pair of important officers at the border like this one? Because they were sleeping in Bukka. If you know Bukka, but when we open the forward operation base with the mattress to the door, they were shocked. All this are part of the problems. Besides our transparency of annual report, when you are around, there was no annual report. Since I came, we have done four. Each year, we have all the time. We have a magazine every quarter. We publish. So when people talk about revenue, we say it is there in the public domain. It's not hidden. We are publishing. If we are doing something wrong, we won't publish it. This transparency is key. But the most important structure which you will see is the building you see outside. The technology building. But this building will be the future of Nigeria. It will place immigration not as an agency which is known for passport. You know, every day they talk about immigration, oh, they issue passport. That's what they know about us. This building will create opportunity for us to have real-time online monitoring of mobility. It will serve also as a command and control center. The CG's office will be there, IT base will be there, including advanced passenger information system. Advanced passenger information system means ability to know who are coming to our country even before they come. We should be able to know. We have installed in our airport Midas. If you have traveled across the airport, you know that this airport is not the golden days when you just scan a passport and pass. You snap your picture, you check your biometric. It is connected with all the interval countries. So if somebody is wanted globally, you can't cross our air border. We we'll press it. We have uploaded those and stolen passwords. Some of you have been working in passport offices. People will just lose their passport. Am I correct? Yes. That's my passport. Do you know the reason? Because they want to get another passport. They use two passports. But now, you lose your passport, we will upload it into one database box. Lost and stolen passport. You use this passport in London, they catch you because it's there. In Germany, it will show. So, we have changed the service to a technology based service. That will be in the key of national development. It is only when you are relevant that you are considered. But if you don't put yourself in a key strategic location, you are to be irrelevant. Uh, but it's good to think of those who retire. Because to think that if I retire, I'm going to be in trouble, can affect productivity. If, if I know that when I retire, things are going to be very bad, it will affect your productivity, it will make you stay. So uh, one of the things we are working on is a housing system. Not the type that was done with, where you pay certain amount of money for form. They will collect the money form and close the story. They will bring a good policy. Buy form. Everybody buy form 30,000 is enough for them. They are gone. That's theft. Or let's do the deal so that they can build CG a house. I told them no house for me. No percentage for me. And I said many officers should not ask. So if you allow the young people to have a transfer to Pahako, no problem. The rent will help you. So we are helping junior officers to do this in transparent work. We make sure any land stolen will collect it back. Now it's key. You can't steal property of immigration and go away with it. The land near Setrapo in town, Pado, nobody handed over the land to me. It was later I knew that land was there. And today we have built seven houses for DCGs. We are completely ready for occupation, for recruitment. We can't sell slot and end well. That's time 2017. I swear a lot of officers are there in the service. Whether they're from Eko, or from Anambra, or from Chikawa, 
the God death test without knowing anybody. I will do the same. In this local government, I swear there will be people who will not know me, who will not know me, who will not know anybody. But they are Nigerians of death as well. This building you are seeing, 36 rooms from that place, self contained as a transit camp. And it's for senior officers. When you are posted, you will have a place, a self contained room, with everything stay before you can take accommodation. We started building blocks for junior officers to continue like that to the end. Look, we have already made a master plan for this place. There was no master plan. There is now a master plan for headquarters. And you can see roads are coming out. We have a commercial area. That commercial area, you can see banks. More banks are applying. Uh, Suya Sport is there. Restaurant is there. We want to make it available <coughs> to the seven but secure the office area. So there are shops. For the first time, Imoa built those shops. These shops were built by Imoa. And they are renting. Uh, so we we'll demolish the Mami market. I don't like that you can so we'll Demolish it and this will be a modern market area. Police always advise us. You know, when you're not driving, you see things well. When you're not in the football field, you see the scoreboard better. So give us concrete advice. It's not every day you ask for what the service will do for you, but do something for the service you left behind. Give us concrete recommendations, uh, then we we'll take those recommendations. So we like to be with technology because I believe in process. Process give value. When we attended the password, we told Mr. President, we said, we did a review in Abekuta, the other conference. We invited critics to look at the document. We did stakeholders meeting. We came out from this. So he values the process of how the product came about. I will need. So start a process. Something new you want us to do. Give us. So please don't always ask us to give. One other question I'm hearing today is this issue of degree awarding the institution. I don't see any reason why, as old as we are, we shouldn't have a degree awarding institution. That is a credit to you, sir. I joined this service in 1983. Those who know me are not somebody who is used to singing praise songs. I don't sing praise songs. If you do well, I tell you. If you do well, if you don't do well, I'll tell you. This compound has been turned to paradise. What have been seen? There is no way you come here and don't see people walking. Something new. And there are lots of things that are happening here. These are things we want. Not Every day we come the same old story. Now we are saying that there's no more old story, there's new story. <laughs> What's my want to thank you, sir? Thank you very much. Thank you. I retired after 35 years, 15 years ago. And here I am today, still coming to see what has happened. What we have seen within this short period of two, three years, I said, has never been done. Sir, you will finish your project like it's been prepared. You will finish it in good health. This is my signature, they will remain.